Hello guys, I'm uh, making this quick video to show this new program I made. It basically allows you to edit overworld sprites extremely easily. And I'm just showing you how to use the program and stuff in this video. So just open the program and first you're going to want to get the file. So you're going to want to use, uh, I use this kiwi.ds program. Um, I know there's other ones called like Natural Explorer 2 or something like that. But just go in here, and here I go in here first. You want to go to this is for Heart Gold, anyways. I know there's there's like another file for the other games, but anyways, for Heart Gold, it was freak. I don't remember where's that file at. Uh, let's see, I think it was a. Uh, Yeah, here we go. For heart gold, it's zero eight one. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to move it down. So we're gonna go to zero eight, and it's this file right here. So let's drag it right onto here. We're gonna open it up, and just click this button. And we're gonna click this button right here, which extracts all the files out of the one NARC file. And let's, let's just close it. Okay. Now, we go in here. We're going to click Open BTX. We're going to go into this file with all the BTX files I got extracted from the NARC file. And actually, we're going to go to file 69. Because that's the file that has the overworld sprite for gold in it. So we're going to open it up. As you can see, there's the sprite right there. Just save it as a PNG and just save it as what you want. I already got this one here, I'll just override it. So there you go, let's open it up. That's what it looks like. You know, all the frames perfectly perfect. Now, basically, what you're gonna do is just edit it like I already did here. here. Let me just zoom in on both of them and show you side by side. See, basically, it's basically, you know, it's just it's like the same picture almost. It's just edited. Like, the important thing to do or remember is that they need to be the same size. Because this one is three, 32 by 768, so the one I'm replacing it with is 32 by 768. Also, it needs to be 16 colors or less. Even though someone told me it could be more, more than 16 colors, but, uh, at least for my program, it's limited to 16 colors the way I'm doing it, and the way I've seen most of the files are all in 16 colors or less. So, just open a PNG. The only limitation is that it's the same dimensions as the original BTX file, and then just save it as a BTX. And here we go. Here it is. It's done. If, and I can like open the BTX file in the program and it will open up perfectly fine. Because it's, you know, the perfect format for the game. So now we're going to replace it. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to that file we just edited. And we're just going to pull it out here. We're going to rename it. Or try to copy all the text copy it all and just delete it then we'll rename this as the original file name and just put it back in now what we're going to do now is uh, go back to Kiwi no this one yeah Kiwi we're going to go back to editor and we're going to uh, go to the tools we're going to make NARC file and we're going to go to the one so we gotta go down here, open up Kiwi, go click on one, click OK. And then uh make sure this is unchecked because the Pokemon games do not use this, I don't think. And then you just click OK. And now you have a NARC file, which will just rename and get rid of the dot NARC because Heart Gold does not use 
to not use the extensions. Oh wait, I can't name it. It's the same as a folder. Let me move it out here first. Rename it. Get rid of the dot narc. Put it in here. Overwrite. Now back out. Now first I'm gonna show you without it. And then I'm gonna compile the new ROM and then hopefully this changes take effect. See this is without it normal. Okay. Now let's open up uh Project Pokemon ROM editor. I always forget you can just click choose ROM and then we're just going to do it as a battle test again going to write the ROM there we go now let's open up this new ROM with the edited file in it And there we go. It was oh, wow, I look so fucked up because I didn't use the right sprites. Let me turn running off. <laughs> oh my god, I look so dumb. Oh well, but anyway, as you can see, the sprites were, you know, it was that easy to edit the sprites. You know. So, hope you guys enjoy and good luck hacking and stuff.